Chemical reactions occur when two or more atoms react to form an entirely new substance. On the C set, reactivity problems can be presented in a variety of ways. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with reaction problems. Remember that we learned that the valence number of an element will determine its ability to react. The rule of thumb is that in a typical reaction, the valence numbers of all atoms involved equals zero. Keeping that in mind, fluorine would most likely combine with which of the following elements? Carbon, hydrogen, or chlorine? We know fluorine would combine with hydrogen because a positive one valence and a negative one valence make zero. Given the following elements and their valence numbers, which of the following is a compound that we would expect to see? Beryllium and potassium have valences of positive 2 and positive 1 for a total of positive 3. This is a reaction that is not likely to proceed. Beryllium with a charge of positive 2 and carbon with a charge of positive 4 yields a total of positive 6. This will not proceed. Beryllium with a, a charge of positive 2 and sulfur with a charge of negative 2 make a total of 0. Beryllium and sulfur would be likely to react and form a compound. Use the following valence numbers to determine which chemical reaction would occur. Pause the video to formulate your answer. Click play when you are ready to check your answer. Beryllium has a valence of positive 2, and oxygen has a valence of negative 2. However, the 2O means there are two oxygen molecules in the reaction. Therefore, you have a charge of negative 2 twice. Positive 2 and negative 2 and negative 2 yields a total of negative 2. This reaction would not proceed. Aluminum has a valence of positive 3, and sulfur has a valence of negative 2. Positive 3 and negative 2 yield positive 1. This reaction will not work. When an element has two valence numbers, you should test both of them. Using a valence of positive 5 for nitrogen, we get plus 5 and 3 plus 1s from hydrogen for a total of plus 8. This will not react. Now we test nitrogen's other valence, negative 3. A negative 3 balance from nitrogen and a positive 1 balance from hydrogen three times yields zero. This reaction is possible.